All right, here we are. Back. I ISWA State Folk Style State Championships. Uh, we're in the uh, uh, novice. Yeah, novice 60. We have been Dalton in the green. Looks like he's from the contenders against Alex Cote from Perry Meridian. Alex shoots in, has that leg. Ben has that nice defensive stance there. Has that whizzer in. Locking up that leg. Preventing that takedown. Now he crushes his head, comes back out front. Both these young men are from around the Indianapolis area. Alex uh, is an ISWA Greco State runner-upper from last year. He's also second in freestyle from last year. And here he is trying to crown, or get that crown, that folk style crown. Ben Dalton, first place uh, at Indy Nationals. First place at Greco State last year. First at Freestyle State last year. So both these wrestlers are well uh, seasoned at being on that championship mat. We have no score from the first period. Cotty is down, works his escape. Now he scores one, now scores one red for Cotty. Zero for Dalton. This is going to be a battle, I'm sure. Again, the Wizards in. Somebody's bleeding and uh, red. That would be uh, Alex Cotty. A little blood coming out the nose, not too bad. And uh, the trainer's going to be here to, to help out in just a minute. Coach is doing a little cleanup now, and just just a little trickle of uh, blood coming out the nose. You'll see that coaches are cleaning the mat, making sure there's no blood out there on the mat. Doing the same for the wrestler here in the corner. We're at Ben Davis High School in Indianapolis, Indiana, for the 2013 Kids ISWA Folk Style State Championships. Today we're working with the novice and the peewee age groups. Yesterday we did Bantam and Intermediate. Next weekend we'll be at Warren Central High School working with the schoolboys, juniors and cadets. We're still on blood time. Each wrestler gets a full five minutes through the whole match to stop the bleeding. Once the bleeding stops, they go into cleanup mode and the time stops. The clock showing uh, four minutes left of what the what we call blood time for now we're stopping the uh, trainers attending and finishing up cleanup on the uh, restaurant and we're going to come back out with a minute three left in the second period we have uh, alex is ahead by one from that escape where the blood started and here we go Both these young men have some really good technique, defensive and offensively. Gets the throw, but I'm afraid we went out of bounds. No score, still neutral. 46 seconds left. Back into that front headlock, backs out of it. Limp arms out, not quite there, no. Didn't get that control. Nice scramble by these two. Dalton and Cotty. No, no takedown yet. Now there it is. 
Take down and stop. Red starts bleeding again. He's going to come off the mat. Start the clock again. Again, the total of five minutes total is available for each wrestler for the bleeding. Once, uh, once the bleeding starts, then they're going to clean up. They're cleaning up the mat as we speak. So right now we're looking at a 2-0 lead by Alex Cotty. Yeah. Okay, we're getting that correct. I'm looking at the clock. It is the official score is 3-0. Okay, the blood stop. Still cleaning up the mat. We'll start, we'll resume wrestling once the mat is clean and dried. Still looking at cleaning up on the wrestler. Nice roll, nice roll for a, a nice reversal there. Alex is able to get back up. Ben had, did a good job. Now we're going to stop again. Looks like blood again. Yep. He lost his, uh, his control. Coach is having some conversation about here in the second period three to two oh, there's one Alex there Cotty okay so we come referee come back let us know that there is an escape we'll see what the final score is not the final score but the correct score now low on his chin. okay Escape wasn't on the board, so we're neutral, and we have a four to two lead. Two seconds to go, in second period by Alex Cotty. His opponent, Ben Dalton, with two points. And there's the end of that second period. We go to the third period now. Not too sure. Okay, Green is going to take down. Society match, nice roll, a reversal. reversal. So now we have a tie score, four to four. Third period, still early in the third period. Minute 20 left to go. There's the escape. Alex Cotty gets the escape. Now it's five to four. We're interesting to see what happens to the rest of one minute left in this match. Very competitive. These young men are in, in town here in Indianapolis. I'm sure they've seen each other a couple of times. I'd be surprised if they had. Nice, nice, went underneath. Nice, but no, no control, gonna be neutral. A little bit more time in bounds. That might've been a, a takedown, but out of bounds. 48 seconds. Alex goes down again, gets a, Gets that underhook. Ben has the underhook. Looking at that front headlock. Trying to 
Hit a roll. No. Goodness gracious. He looks like Alex is going to get that takedown. Yes, there it is. And he's going to have back points to add on to that. Three more. That puts us to 10 to 4 with 17 seconds to go. Ben attempted a front headlock roll. The gator roll, as we call it in freestyle or Greco. Unsuccessful. Alex caught him and got that takedown and that, uh, that near fall. Okay, the referee throws a one point against green, four green against red for unsportsmanlike conduct. Okay, your 2013 Nelvis 60 pound state champion, Alex Scotty from Perry Meridian High School. Perry Meridian Wrestling Club, not quite in high school yet at this age. They have some good wrestlers, but I think they have to be a little older. Congratulations.